So there's there's this opposing forces that you often have to face if you are going to do something that's innovative. On one side, you have to be absolutely bullish or optimistic and just be look at the future and think that there is a brighter future that exists. And I think it's complete the delusion. I think, you know, there is a lot of insanity to it, quote unquote insanity to it. Other people are not going to see it as thinking about climate change, right? Like climate change is a real big, just horrible thing that we're going to experience. And the evidence is, is striking that this is going to happen. And there's going to be increasingly drastic events that's going to happen. And it's not going to be fun, but... That's the one side of it. That's all on the cost. Um, you also have to know and believe that human beings are crazy in terms of being innovative um, and ingenuitive and, um, you know, this sort of inventive when they see these massive problems. And there's been any number of different massive problems that have happened, um, particularly in the last 100 150 years where it didn't seem like it was possible, right? I want you to sort of think in the 1940s, having the amount of world peace that we have today does not seem possible, right? It did not. There was, that was a moment at the time that the numbers are like staggering. If you look at it, the number of people that died in that period because of calamities, you know, it was, it was like, 10%, it was a rather large number of the world's population just died um, in that period of time. And, you know, it was, it was awful, right? And, and yet we have, and I know that there's risky things, kind of goofy things that are going on right now. I'm not that sort of silly, but, um, you know, I also know that we live in a moment of time where there's unbelievable amount of peace and prosperity that are is is just like baffling to people from at that point. They would have looked at this and would have been like, what on earth? What is going on here? Right. So that is one side of the story is being completely optimistic that we could solve these problems that and 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 you know, where you could see the world and see a completely different world. But on the other side, you have to be extremely real, right? And extremely pragmatic. You sort of have to see the world as it is. And, you know, for the most part, right, people don't like these things. And so you have to call it out. You can't just be like delusional and say, yeah, you know what? We're going to, um, you know, make these sort of wonderful changes. No, you got to call it out, call out the actual real problems that exist and tackle those real problems as they exist, like actually go there. Right. Um, you know, for me with, uh, the reciprocity project, I was just thinking about that, right? Like it doesn't work. It, it just does not work unless I'm real. Um, unless I tell, you know, people, discredit this that think it's crazy i think it's crazy see you know um i have little hope that this will actually work i um have all of those doubts it is so real and i'm gonna call it out as it is but i'm gonna still get up and do this every day and i'm gonna embrace these things as they happen i know it is delusional i know that um yeah very few people believe in it i know that I am very real about this, I'm very practical. So what can I do? The only thing that I can do that balances those two things is get back up and do it again, right? Like that repeated, I know it does not make any sense, but the only thing that I can do to change this is to delude myself to get back up and just repeat and repeat and repeat. And I know that there is a real problem that exists. I know that there is a lot of researchers. I know that there is a lot of senior folks at, you know, CEO levels and all that kind of stuff that have really lost a lot of hope um, that 
they particularly in this sort of innovation realm of things because it's long it's hard and if i could be part of that puzzle and i know that sounds crazy right like in my head i'm thinking to myself who do i think i am but um you know i'm going to try to be there i'm going to be you know somebody that hopefully instills some hope and and, and says you know what you can do some of these things i've witnessed people doing crazy things that today i would have been you know like at the time at the moment when i was going through this i was like i can't do any of that that's not me like those are those people i can't do it and i am too scared to do any of that kind of stuff um and it's not really like scared it's more like you know, in my career, they told me never to do this kind of stuff because it can ruin my career. And so I never do those things. I never go there. There, um, And I look back and I think, you know, I should have, right? At that moment in time, I should have done all of those things. And it's coming to this realization. It's, if it's not me, if I don't step up, then who is going to step up? Who is going to make those changes? What, what person? in the right mind is going to understand the challenges of researchers, for example, or the challenges of people that are in R and D that feel lost. Um, you know, who is that going to stand up? Nobody is actually doing that. Right. Like I think, and, and this is a serious real problem, right? In elementary school, people are fascinated about science. They love it. I want you to talk to any PhD, um, Except for the one odd person, but most of them, it's fine. It's it, like they lose a lot of faith. The R and D game, it is hard, and you know there's lots of politics. There's lots of just you know insanity, right? Like it's not as rational as people think. But what if I'm here? What if I keep telling you to get back up, um, find something, explore? Don't quite listening to those people that are a bug in your ear that are telling you that you're not good enough like get back and do this thing try something explore um have that sort of rebellious soul in you where you're like "Ah, you know what this is actually a good thing and i'm gonna actually do this thing right and that's but if you do this thing whatever that is in your life, whatever you want to do that's a little bit more exploratory, right? Like I actually want to inspire a whole generation of people that are in R&D, doing PhDs, doing, you know, um, the sort of grinding work that we're used to, the sort of science. I want to inspire them to you know, be okay with themselves, right? Like stand up and, and say, I'm okay. I feel good about myself. I can do this. Um, there's a lot of people that are going to crap on me along the way, but I can do this. I can get back up. I can feel good. Uh, I'm going to take one more step every day and I'm going to do something that is going to be good for me. And as a consequence, it's going to be good for the world, right? Like as you, I strongly believe that that's a theory or a philosophy, I guess it's more of a philosophy in my mind. Is that if you do things that you feel excited about, that you feel encouraged about, and that you're like, this is awesome, right? Like you are part of the sort of adversity struggle. And then you use all of those people that crap on you as like your hero story. If you turn it around and, you know, if people are not willing to recognize and support you, then you turn it around. Right. And you and make it a part of the hero story where they're the antagonist. Right. And I want you to sort of think about that. What can you do? Some people will support you. Right. There'll be some people who'll be like, yeah, go do it. That's amazing. But mostly people are going to give you eye rolling. They're going to look at you and say, like, that's nuts. What are you doing? But you can get out and do this. You could be the one person that actually does this. Right? Like, if there is not that one person, who is going to do it? Nobody. Right? Like, you've got to stand up and be weird and people will chastise you and all of that kind of stuff. 
Um, and I want you to get used to that and turn that into your hero story, right? Like turn it into like, I'm pretty awesome. Um, and walk forward, right? Just keep taking those steps every day and feel good about yourself and, and really work at that. I want you to, to look at the world around you as a playground and continue to looking at that world as a playground. Don't let other people, your circumstances, all that kind of stuff, like think about this big, grand, massive, you know, massive thing that you could do and go for it. Um, people are going to roll their eyes. Almost everybody is going to roll their eyes. They're not going to understand what you're doing, but go for it, right? Like, what what is going to be the worst case scenario? Um, you lose it all. And, you know, if you lose it all, you're still probably doing okay in our society, right? There is a lot that you can probably do. Um, I want you to look at that. I want you to get inspired and do things and, and, you know, kind of push the envelope. If I can do this thing and it's nuts, I know it's nuts in my head and I'm just one lone person, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out there and start doing it and having fun and hopefully inspire a whole bunch of other people do this yourself i don't have the time you don't have the time let's get out there and do it anyways screw it let's have some